420 MSP Harry here and I'm with a couple of gentlemen from the Denver Colorado area I have a lot of a lot of born in Denver went to the University of Denver welcome mates how you doing Very hey good. Harry doing well good Thanks so for having us. with yeah Adam and Brian from MJ stack and the reason this is an exciting interview for me is I've kind of hung my hat on uh, my presence in the cannabis vertical as a number one technology. And then number two, I'm trying to position myself as an analyst. And as you know, and the, the, the readers and viewers know, we've been kicking out the, uh, ecos the technology ecosystem chart, right? The logo chart with all the technology solutions. And Adam, I believe it was you who raised your hand when we did the first version of that. And you said, hello. And uh, we've become fast friends because at MJ Stack, you're actually kind of implementing product stack components for customers. So Adam, go first. What is your story? What, what do you guys do? Yeah. And again, appreciate you having us, Harry, here. So uh, Brian and I actually met each other seven, eight years ago working at a Fortune 500 traditional enterprise. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Been fast friends ever since. So um that company, our specialty was selling solutions to development teams. So we're very in tune with what the technology development process looks like. Um, we're certified scrum masters and oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. On how that process works. Um, so years later, we met back up at one of the largest Canada companies in the space and both had to focus on West Coast sales. And we kind of realized from our previous enterprise experience that there really was not a plug and play solution to fill a lot of the gaps for traditional cannabis businesses like there are in other verticals. So we forged a lot of partnerships with some of the biggest Canada tech players in the space to the end benefit of our clients. And yeah, I like it. Yeah. And I mean, essentially those network connections and just staying on top of what's evolving uh, sparked the idea that led to us creating MJ Stack together. So you're, you're a little bit more than a directory listing, right? You know, we both know, all three of us know in this, the, the, the tech industry, there are these sites that have software reviews, five mm -hmm. star, two star, three star, they drive a lot of traffic. It's actually not a bad strategy. Some are pay for play. Um, but you're, you're more than a directory service of, hey, here's six recommended vendors. Um, you're actually doing work, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're more focused on bridging the gap between you know best solutions, best fit solutions, and owners and operators who may not have the time to, you know, evaluate 20, 30 different softwares, and you know <laughs> they're they're trying to start their own business. So you know Adam and I got into this because we saw that gap. We saw a need for somebody to step in and and help people you know navigate the the noise. Um, that's kind of one of our catchphrases here. Um, you know, there's, it's an industry powered by startups and there's a lot of vendors in it. And, you know, oftentimes people spend a hundred hours on evaluating and end up with the wrong solution. So, yeah. you know, Adam and I are in a unique position with our enterprise tech experience and our cannabis experience to help pair the best solutions for the best uh, business models. Yeah, I, I, I briefly had that motion uh, a long time ago. I'm not going to date myself, but um, when when I was carrying the bag as a, a network consultant, right, an IT consultant, loved it. Um, I was in a large regional accounting firm in the Seattle area, Clark Newber, and we were retained on more than one occasion by, I remember the school district and I remember the not-for-profit to help them assess technology solutions. And what they looked to us for as a CPA firm was to be that independent voice of authority. And, and we created the RFP process and we helped them evaluate um, what, what, what to buy. And it sounds like you have a, a similar motion and um, I'm assuming you keep the customer's best interest in mind first. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's kind of integral to our business is being agnostic um, because we have 65 plus cannabis technology partners to date right now. And I mean, we're a growing company. And in the end, we have to have our clients' best needs in mind because otherwise we're not going to grow to where we want to be able to have the influence to make sure businesses grow and scale as they should if we're just signing people up with the people we like the most versus the best fit. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Brian, take us out with, uh, there's still time, folks, when you view this, hurry, but you have a promotion over at your site. It's kind of catchy. What's what's going on in the month of February? Yeah, so really just to, just to kind of drive some meetings here and uh, get folks uh, across our um, calendars, um, we're trying to meet people in new markets. Um, we, we partnered with uh, one of my actual good friends, um, Will, over at Blazy Susan. And so they're doing some really cool stuff, have some great products, great name. Um, and yes. so, yeah, we're trying to partner with them to get them some more um, visibility, um, get their product out there. But also we're doing giveaways for it. So, you know, anybody who wants to sit down and chat with us, you know, could probably get a branded Blazy Susan. So that's kind of what yeah. Yeah, and it does look like a, a lazy Susan. So, guys, we'll get you back next quarter. We're going to double click into some uh, little, you know, a little bit deeper topics in the industry. I just wanted to do a hello world. And guess what? We'll probably be able to get together live. Uh, I go to Denver frequently for a handful of reasons, and I, I think I'm targeting late May. So, we'll be sure to film something live when I go through Denver. Thanks, gents. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for having us, Harry.